Real Salt Lake back in training here at Rio Tinto Stadium, coming off Sunday afternoon's 5-2 win on the road against the Houston Dynamo. Real Salt Lake remains undefeated on the season, and it was their first win ever in Houston. To go down and play in their place and, and get an early lead was huge because we know how successful they are down there. Uh, but at this point, you know, moving on and, and uh, trying to get ready for tomorrow. Coming off the, the game in Chicago and uh, building, on, building from that, um, you know, I, I think that's just good. what you're going to see is this team continually build. Uh, win or lose, um, you know, we're, we're, we're building towards the end. Next up for Real Salt Lake, a Rocky Mountain Cup matchup against the Colorado Rapids. The Rapids coming off a 4-1 loss at home against Chivas USA, currently sitting fifth place in the Western Conference, five points behind RSL. When I watch their team play, they play with the same passion that he played with, the same drive, and they just don't quit. It's going to be our job to, to make sure that they don't have, get, gain any confidence during the game and, and uh, if we get up on them to, to keep them down. For me, he's maybe the best leader I've ever been around, certainly one of them. He's a legend, uh, you know, in Colorado, uh, especially for their club. So I was psyched for him that he's a head coach, and I'm sure their players are really happy too because he'd be a great guy to play for. They're really talented. Um, a lot of speed up top. Obviously, Dylan's a really good player, good feet. Um, so I think if we keep the ball and make sure when we turn it over, our reactions are better than theirs. And, um, you know, we're, we're in the right spots defensively in, in transition. I think we'll be okay. Luckily, we have a good defense in front of me. So, uh, you know, we know that they're fast, and we know that Dylan's a playmaker. So I think, uh, you know, if we concentrate on those guys and still being wary of everyone else that they have, then we'll be in a good spot. For Real Salt Lake, this will be their first match without Alvaro Sabarillo, Nick Romano, and Kyle Beckman. All three players called into their respective World Cup 30-man provisional rosters. For Real Salt Lake, kickoff Saturday night, 7.30. Another sellout expected here at Rio Tinto Stadium. A big reason why we've been pretty successful the last few years is because of our depth, and that's no different this year. We have a lot of great players that are ready to step up, and now's their time. And uh, we have total confidence that they're going to be able to do that. A lot of uh, players in our positions don't really get these opportunities every now and then. So uh, to get this chance and like to hopefully make the most of it, it will go a long way for the team's confidence. So uh, I'm excited. You know, I'm hopefully to make the best of the opportunity and kind of keep the streak we got going for when Nikki gets back. I have the confidence in every one of them to step in and and really you know make a mark for themselves, not with just in, within this team, but within you know the whole league. Um, so I'm really excited for them. I've realized right away that it means a lot the Rocky Mountain Cup. So you know, obviously first of three legs, and um, we're really excited to hopefully start off on you know, in the right way with a win and three points. Just go out with a bunch of energy, press, uh, you know, impose our will on the field, and then, you know, it'd be nice to get a get an early one. But uh, if not, we're just going to keep at it and, you know, play our game. If we set the tempo early, you know, uh, that'll be obviously be a good start to the three-game series. But, you know, they're coming here. And, uh, you know, when teams come here, if we control the ball and pretty much play the way we've been playing, then we'll be in a good spot. Well, we're going to have Javi score on a chip 17 <laughs> seconds in. Uh, no, it, it's make sure that we have a bright start. Make sure we come with the right commitment, the right energy, the right passion, uh, get the crowd into the game, and, and hopefully um, you know, feed off of their energy. And they have that feeling like everyone's coming out to see us. we got to put on a performance, and um, you know, it, it just gives the guys energy. It makes my job a lot easier. <laughs>